and, and that's how my parents died. <laughs> you kidding me. Uh, Hi. We know that on the surface that Taylor Burke has a mental condition. But when you dig deeper, he's a special little guy. My friend and I went around and talked to some of Taylor's acquaintances to learn about their experiences with him. Before we hear from Taylor's friends, we'd like to give you a little background about his life. Taylor Burke was born under the circumstances that he was immediately dropped on his head by the doctor. At age four, Taylor joined the circus with his acrobat parents. During one of their famous acts, a freak accident occurred where Taylor dropped 800 feet to the ground. Taylor's family decided to move to Moorestown to live a quiet life. Of course, Taylor had his share of mishaps there, repeatedly falling down the stairs. Now that you've learned about Taylor Burke's history, it's time to hear what some of his friends have to say. Taylor! Hey! He tries to make coffee with other people. Oh god, he's coming over. What's up? Not a camera? Not a much. Just, uh... <laughs> What's he smiling about? He's talking about the Holocaust. Why is he smiling? It's so weird. It's a poor condition. He just doesn't know what's going on in the world around him. Poor child. Excuse me, Andy. Yeah, what's up? Um, when was the first time you became friends with Taylor? I, I think I met Taylor years ago, but we were never really friends. So I don't really like to associate with people like that. Really? Um, what was wrong with him? Well, I think he's, I don't know, I guess overall he's just kind of a little retarded. I don't know. Is that the best term, really? Yeah, I'd, I'd say that's pretty much the best term to describe it. What would you say some of his conditions are? Um, including, you know, like ADD, uh, mental retardation, obviously. I, I think, I think most likely he's probably gotten, you know, a lot of blunt trauma to his head, which have, you know, caused a lot of bad side effects. Oh, is he giving the middle finger at me? <sighs> Hello. <laughs> Mike, this is no time for laughter. We are looking at this poor child's future. This troubled man. I, I don't know. He was homeschooled until now. They just said they couldn't bring him out into the real world. It's a shame. Oh god, he spotted us. It's been about... six months? By law, sir. Do you want to ask him a few questions? Did you know when Taylor developed his condition? Was he born with it? Taylor Burke. You know, you know the... Uh, he... Holy uh, really? No, I have no idea. That's yeah. unfortunate. It is. Yeah. He needs help with almost everything. Really? Sometimes he puts on his shoes before his pants. Right? And oh, uh, no. we just talked to Brienne. She has to pre-chew his food for him. And help Spin him walk up out. the stairs. Like a bird? Yeah, and he uses a straw, which he can't operate on his own. Though Brienne also has to help him with that. Help she has breathe. to she has to shoot the straw <laughs> into his mouth, and then he, and then she tickles his throat, and then he swallows it. Oh wait, it's Brienne. Brienne, can we ask you a few questions? Sure. Yes. How long have you been Taylor's caretaker? About two years now. Really? And uh, what do you do for him? Um, uh, I pretty chew his food for him, obviously. I help him walk up the stairs sometimes. And uh, what are his conditions that you need to help him so much? He's a little, a little up here. Really? He needs a little help up there, yeah. Oh, that's strange. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know you're sensitive about this topic. <laughs> How much are you paid? Um, well, Mrs. Burke charges me, or like gives me an hourly fee. So. Really? Yeah, it's, it's nice. Anything to help her little boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure these are tears of sadness. Well, that's Taylor's story in a nutshell. Yep, and if you see him in the hallway, give him a nice pat on the back or a hug. Or as Taylor likes to call it, fuzzy rainbows that make my tummy grumble. Wait, what? I don't really got it either. Hello there, how you doing? I've got all these thoughts just floating through my brain.
And with that, she has to she has to shoot the straw into his mouth, and then he, and then she tickles his throat, and then he swallows it. Tickles. This man is in the way. We're gonna miss out on our specimens every move. Taylor just became president of Retard Club. Everyone tells him he does a great job all the time. Five. Uh, <laughs> Wait, but what about um, the other thing when you were talking about that thing? And right. I really can't. <laughs> I don't know. That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. And that's how my parents died. Right. So, Mike, I heard you were a big fucking daddy. Yep, that's me. I'm a huge flamer, and I just love peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you did that to your fans. Like, you are the sickest weirdo ever. Thank <laughs> you. Yep. Oh my god. And that's how my parents died. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It's good. Thank you. Uh, Hi. Well, I knew that you were a big ass faggot, Mike, and I just. That's true. <laughs> I'm a huge flamer. I love penis in I my mouth. Suck, dude. Dude. <laughs> I do, yes. <laughs> and, and that's how my parents died. <laughs> Stop aiming. I see where you're aiming it. Stop. Taylor Burke is wrong. I hate you. Sorry, I looked like this. You were laughing. Stop. <laughs> Every time I take. Mmm. Friends, we'd like to give you a little background to that. It's like. <laughs> Taylor Bork. <laughs> I hate you. You drop her. You, you. Oh. <laughs> Taylor is like. Like. Yeah. I guess so. You wanna take it? Did you fart? No. <laughs> oh, God. I Wait, what? Let's do it again. Yeah. I'm a huge flamer, and I just love peanuts. <laughs> and I just love peanuts. <laughs> and I just love peanuts. <laughs> peanuts. 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 <laughs>